Welcome everybody, welcome Fiona, how are you? Hello, we're great. I've got Hope here to join me today. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too, nice to see you. One of your <laughs> few dogs at home. It's so that's one. fantastic. And today is Sunday 13. We're almost two weeks in our Down Dog Yoga Challenge. Yeah, to support amazing campaign, Fiona. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, thank you for everybody who's uh, staying with us through this challenge for our positivity campaign. So, uh, yeah, starting to feel the burn now. Great. Ready to stretch a little bit? Yeah, let's give it a go. Fantastic. Yeah, let's get ready. So start your stand-up position with your legs wider than your shoulders width apart. I'm going to lift your arms really high. When you exhale, slowly pull your shoulders back and down. And again, inhale. And slowly exhale. And two more. Inhale. Slowly exhale. Just one more time. Really stretch upper body, your arms, your spine. And slowly relax your shoulders. Now your right arm to relax your left side. Slowly exhale. Inhale. Slowly exhale. And two more. And now to your right side. Inhale. Slowly exhale. Inhale. And exhale, just one more. And now lift your arms. As you exhale, bring your arms behind your back. If you can, reach for your opposite elbow and try to bend forward. Show you from the side to stay in the same place. Keep your both legs straight and just lean forward. As long as you've got your spine nice and straight, lower back is flat, so you try to pull your shoulders up to Feel the stretch, back of your legs, your glutes, and lower back. Inhale, lifting a couple inches, and slowly exhale. Maybe one more. Inhale, slowly exhale. All the way up, lift your arms. And as you exhale, bring your legs a little bit closer, so you're trying to go the child for uh, to chair pose, the squat, inhale, and slowly exhale. Make sure you've got your feet on the floor. Perfect, that was really good. Go from your hips really low. You can continue or try to rock side to side. Really stretch your legs, your hips. <laughs> and now hands on the floor bring your knees as well make sure you've got your back straight and now left leg inhale lift exhale bend your knee swing forward keeping your lower back the same position so you're not changing alignment in your spine Inhale and exhale. Try the same for your right leg. Inhale straight up. Mm -hmm. Exhale, bend your knees, swing forward. Inhale and exhale. And one more. On your four, tuck your toes under. And go to the down the position. Inhale on your four. Slowly exhale. Really lift your hips high. And try to move your head. Bring your head between your arms. Really feel the stretch. Back of your legs. As well as your upper body. Arms, shoulders. And your chest. Maybe one more. 
Now on your four, left leg forward. And when you inhale, lift your arms just up. Slowly shoulders back and down. Squeezing glutes on your right side. And one more. Inhale. Slowly exhale. Change your leg. Now, buttocks muscles on your left. Really active. And again, stretch your upper body. Inhale, arms up. Slowly exhale. And one more. Excellent. Let's lie down. Facing to the floor. Start your form arms first. And when you inhale, try to just lift. So you've got your hands together, front of your elbows, pointing out. As you're lifting your chest, really squeeze your glutes. Got your buttocks muscles engaged all the time, but to try to contract them even stronger and more as you're lifting your chest. Inhale. And exhale, perfect. And remember, you can stop anytime. You know your body the best. Have your lower back. If it's feeling tired, too many repetitions, you can just stop. And now, form arms, press your elbows and your knees to lift your hips. And slowly, let's move back to child pose. As you remember, could be if your toes stuck under, if your chest and your head higher, or if you find flat feet and bring your chest really low, arms bent or maybe straight. If you still want to stretch your upper body, great for correct posture, really open your chest and your arms. You can rock side to side. And now, hands together, and when you inhale, your right arm to your side, to lift high, and exhale back to center. Feel the stretch. Still your legs, lower back, as well as the upper part, as you add the twist, nicely work with your lower back area. Inhale, and exhale, and one more. And now your left, inhale, and exhale. Perfect, one more time. And to the down duck again. You can try to stretch your left leg more, so both knees bent but you've got more weight balance on your left. If you're fine, you can add more placing your right foot. So you're pressing your left heel closer to the floor, but don't worry if you're still off the ground or you can just march in the spot as we usually do. It's exactly the same stretch, but if you're fine, you can hold it for a little bit longer. You can change for the other side. And slowly relax, bring your knees and slowly let's stand up. As we started, legs wider, inhale, arms up, slowly exhale. And one more. Okay, thank you. So that was for today. Day of 13 of our challenge. How are you feeling now? That was great. The dogs really like that one. <laughs> yes, yeah, it was like, oh yeah, I like it. <laughs> want to join. They're off playing Fantastic. with the dogs now. That was very <laughs> exciting. <laughs> yeah, excellent. Okay, thanks for that. And yeah. uh, thank you for supporting our Downward Dog Yoga Challenge, Positivity Month. See yeah, soon. of course, <laughs> our pleasure. And yeah, if you're still with us, if you like this day, 13th day, almost two, two weeks, we're halfway almost, guys. So yeah, give us a thumbs up, any comments, suggestion, if you're doing it yourself, if you've got 
got dog at home and maybe is exercising with you, let us know. It'd be nice to know more things about you guys. And see you tomorrow, day 14 tomorrow. So bye for now. Bye. See ya.